Hey everyone, Ian here at MA Performance. And I'll tell you what, it's been a long time since I've been sitting behind a DevRx and it feels like home. Eric, it feels like the old days, remember? The stage two videos and the J5 videos and Eric's not even looking at me, he's just looking through the windshield. So today's topic, we're gonna just quickly touch on feedback knock readings. And more specifically, the feedback knock reading while cruising with the air conditioning on, uh, the, the infamous negative 1.41 feedback knock. To most of you, this could be old news. I know it's been discussed to death, uh, but what I've noticed is there's a brand new wave of WX owners, you know, buying 18 plus models. Even to this day, I still get this email a couple times a day. And so I just figured maybe this would be a good time to do a quick little video, kind of maybe explain what's happening more in detail. Hopefully give some of you guys a little bit more peace of mind. In order to explain what feedback knock is, in layman's terms, the engine has a pair of knock sensors. So what they really act as are like microphones. They pick up different frequencies and different noises. The ECU is programmed in conjunction with those to basically, if it detects anything outside of a specific threshold that Subaru has from the factory, uh, the EC will then pull timing to make sure everything is safe and protect the engine and blah, blah, blah. And like we wanna talk about today, which is most commonly uh, when the AC is on. Now, the reason this happens, so I get it all the time, hey man, uh, I loaded the tune, it feels great, wide open throttle, but I was going to work this morning and I shifted in a second and I got a negative 141 on my feedback knock. And here are some logs, you know, let me know if everything is okay. If I'm safe to drive, I'm worried. So that's what I kind of want to clear up a little bit for you today. What is happening when you're cruising part throttle and you've got the air conditioning on, the compressor itself, the AC compressor, isn't running 100% of the time. So what happens is, when the, the clutch in the compressor kicks on, it goes from a static state to a non-static state in a very aggressive motion because you've got your in and engine spinning you know, all your accessories and you've got a clutch that's just sitting there and then all of a sudden, boom, it clicks on. Well, that noise and that frequency gets picked up by the knock sensor and it oftentimes displays in your access port as a negative 141. But we want to just say, you know, if you're cruising around and, and you see this happen from time to time, it's definitely nothing to panic about. Enjoy the car, really. If you're seeing feedback knock occur while wide open throttle and dams dropping at wide open throttle, that's a whole nother conversation. The little blips you see from time to time are totally normal. Especially, like I mentioned, since the AC is not on 100% of the time, you know, the clutch is kicking on and off, on and off, trying to maintain, you know, the desired interior temperature. So that's why you'll see it blip, you know, every couple minutes, blip, it'll pop up over and over and over again, constantly. And that's basically what's going on. So what I think we'll do, we'll probably just go ahead and uh, take our WRX out on the road. We'll go on the highway and see if we can just replicate this live and kind of show you exactly, you know, when we push the AC to activate that, it immediately shows up as a negative one for one on the feedback knock. So we'll probably just go for a little cruise and uh, check that out and then we'll be back. <laughs> All right guys, well again, thanks for watching. And I hope this answers some questions for some of you guys that are new to the platform, new to tuning the platform, or even some owners that have owned the car for quite some time and maybe were curious. But moral of the story is, um, it's not gonna blow up. Enjoy it, you know? I just throw the darn thing in the glove box. And that car's got over 50,000 miles on it now and it's still kicking, so. But again, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time. And Ian out. Exit film. Pfft.